Hey crew, it's Ben, and I'm back with another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out a remix. This is Fix with the Dax remix of To Be A Man. We did the To Be A Man. It was great. I loved it. We're going to see what's up with this. Let's dig in and find out. I can't hide myself. Come on. I don't expect you to understand. I just hope I can explain what it's like to be a man. It's a lonely road And they don't care about what you know It's not about how you feel But what you provide inside that home Alright, we've talked about it before And we'll talk about it again, right? It's not always about monetary provision I know that it seems that way I know that society is even set up that way But it doesn't have to be that way I've been extraordinarily blessed through my disabilities because I have a good woman who stood by my side when I wasn't able to provide monetarily. There are men living in cardboard boxes with women who are down with them right now on the side of the road, road holding a sign with them. So it's not always about just providing monetary wealth. And a lot of people who watch this seem to think that. And that is the mindset that we have because we are a very things-oriented society. But it's not necessarily that. All right. Yeah, I know this life can really beat you down. Yeah. You and I've listened to this song a lot. You wanna scream, but you won't make a sound. Got so much weight that you've been holding, but won't show any emotion as a man that goes and spoken that we can't cry when life gets hard. Unconditional love for women, children, and dogs. Like that's what we tell ourselves. And that's the lie that we keep feeding ourselves. But you know what? It is possible. That's the, that's the thing, right? We're all, we all start out life, we're kids, and we're idealistic, and we're like, it can be this way. And then our parents beat that out of us, and our grandparents beat that out of us, and life beats us that out of us. But that's not because it's untrue. It's because it didn't happen for them. And so because it didn't happen for them, it can't happen for you, because then that makes them a failure. So they tell you it's impossible, right? Unconditional love is possible. It is. You can find somebody who actually values you for you and not just what you bring to the table for sex or money. But because you are conditioned to think that you can't, then you will seek the response, right? Because you're conditioned to think that the only thing women are concerned about is money, then you, tr you train yourself on that money. And you start getting the money and then you attract the women who only want the money. Like, these guys who are living in these cardboard boxes, right? That's the best example because it's the truth. And you can see it in every city, right? There's a guy in a cardboard box with his shit. And they both out there holding a sign, right? It, it's not necessarily about that monetary compensation. We know that we just have to play our parts And don't nobody give a damn about our pro And if you didn't know that I, I talk a lot, then you're on the wrong channel. <laughs> Like if that bothers you, you're on the wrong channel. I break it up. We about to hear him, so I want to I want to break it up before we get to him, because I want to kind of listen to his all the way through if I can. Getting hard, yeah. As a man, we gotta pave our way. Our only function is to work and slave. There's no respect for you. That's not true. You have a function to raise up responsible children. Like we did the Dax reaction, so we've talked about most of this before. But some people will only see this one. And that's not true. You do, you do have a, a, a job to do, right? You are to grind. That is, that life is about the grind. That, that, that's one of the defining points of life is the grind and how you react to it. <clears throat> and so you're supposed to lean into the grind so that you get sharper. If you lean away from the grind, it cuts up your edge. It messes it all up. You push into the grind. And then it makes you sharp. And then you can do what you came to do. And that is to be a man raise a family of good god-fearing pe people right like you are supposed to make the next generation better that is your job you if you ain't and that's not necessarily just by working and slaving if you're not taking care of your stuff at home you're doing it wrong if you're not taking care of yourself emotionally you're doing it wrong it is possible to do those things but we've convinced ourselves it's not you're disregarded as a human and you can't complain And if you ever make it up and actually reach that place And find a woman that you love and give 
give her your last name You'll feel the things that you provide Is only why she stays And when you try to explain You'll say I can't hide myself I don't expect you to understand I just hope I can explain What it's like to be your man It's a lonely road And they don't care about what you know It's not about how you feel But what you provide inside that home Alright, alright, this gonna be fixed here, right? So let's hear it, bring it to me Patiently waited for God to show me signs I need I'm not the man for the job All the things I can't be Put all my feelings aside I think that I'll be better off when I'm not alive No No, 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 no I got help for that I threw depression for years and I try to hide it <laughs> You can't fight depression you can't fight it. You have to defeat it. I know that sounds so pretentious to say, but I, I really have spent a whole lot of time on this. And like, this is one of the things that I've been kicking. Like, if you're fighting it, then you're giving it equal footing. You can't fight it. You have to defeat it. You have to give over what it is and, and lean into it just like you would the grind. You can't fight depression. You can't. If you're fighting it, then you're giving it equal footing with you. That fight is above you. Like, you do all you can do, by all means. Always fight that. But, like, we talked before about how depression is a choice in a lot of cases. And if you know you're depressed and you know why you're depressed and you're not pulling the root causes out, you are choosing to be depressed. Fought through depression for years and I tried to hide it. Almost put pressure and pulled it, but I decided to give it all that I can. And I'm not talking out my ass like y'all, if you don't know if this is your first time here, I have given up. I have been one of those people. Like, I was lucky. I was blessed beyond measure to still be here and to have all that I have. But I was one of those people that pulled the trigger. And pulled it, but I decided to give it all that I can. But this is what it's like to be a man. He's killing I can't hide myself. He right, though. Right. I don't expect you to Alright, we're gonna break him down right here, but and then we'll finish this out. But like I really enjoyed that. I did. Like I always love to see somebody new talking about it. And I'm gonna check out some more for him. So if you know what I like and you know fix. Y'all let me know what to check out in the box down below because I will, I want to, I love to give voice every single time to any of these people who are bringing awareness to mental problems, to fighting depression, to battling addiction, all of those things I want to give voice to. I want to help amplify that as much as I possibly can. So if you know what songs he's got that deal with these things, let me know so we can talk about it. Hit me in the box down below. I loved it though. I love every time. If it's, it makes me stop it and talk about it, that's a good thing on this channel. If I'm just sitting there and we're letting the song play, that's not a good thing. I don't care about what we and I tried. I really did try not to stop it. You know, it's not about how we feel, but what we provide inside. Y'all make sure y'all get back over to my boy Fix's page. You know, like, share us up, throw him a comment, let him know that you appreciate what he is doing, because I sure do. That was great. I like this is my second run through on the next bed, and it's probably gonna be the last one I react to. And it was great. I loved it. I did. Like, I love every single time that we are opening up the fact that men can talk about mental issues. It is possible. Like we have a stigma around it, and people will make fun of you, but they need help too. And so you can't help anybody else if you're not in charge of yourself. And when you are in charge of yourself, then you can help other people. So get charge of yourself. 
quit fighting the battles and win them. It is not easy. It is not something you can just do overnight. It's like I'm not trying to trivialize depression at all. Trust me on this one. But there is a point where you are making the decision to stay depressed. If you have been fighting the same battle for year after year and you're getting the same result, then you need new tactics. If you're seeing the same therapist and you're not getting help and all they're doing is prescribing you little bottles, you need a new therapist. They're not there to help you. They're there to keep you paying money. And so find you somebody to do talk therapy with that you can actually talk to. Find somebody that you can actually express what you actually feel about actual issues. That is how you get past it. It's not easy. It is a battle. But it is one that you win. It's not one that you fight. Right? You, you, you have to choose not to. You have to find happiness. Well, <clears throat> there's another one of my sayings, right? Happiness is not a disease. You don't catch it. Happiness is not a target. You don't achieve it. Happiness is a mindset. You manifest it. And so you have to choose to be happy about the blessings that you have in your life. Even if they're very tiny, if, even if it's the fact that you get to eat, if it's the fact that you're getting to watch the internet today, you've got air conditioning and uh, running water, you're doing better than most of the planet. Be blessed and thankful for the very small things, and then you get bigger things to be thankful for. You find bigger things to be thankful for. You, you search out the happiness in the situation, and then all of a sudden you realize that you're not depressed. You beat that bitch. I love this. This was great. It got me talking. So, Fix, thank you. Dax, thank you to the crew. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single minute that you are here with me, and I am praying for you every single day. Until next time, I love you. You're perfect, holy, and complete, just the way that you are. And this has been Pitt's Take. Peace.